Its road detours are just an annoyance, but in some cases, they're a sign of progress. That's the case in Muskegon. Work is underway in the city's multi-million dollar convention center. And News 8's Joe Lafergi has this story tonight. Well, they broke ground in the spring, but the barricades shutting off fourth between Shoreline and Western are one more indication this project is on the move. You may notice the sweet smell walking along Western Avenue near the L.C. Walker Arena these days. And that smell is barbecue. These are the stump smokers. Dr. Rolf's barbecue opened up six months ago. Business is good. The barricades across the street are an indication that when the convention center opens up in less than two years, things will get even better. Yeah, it brings in people, brings in events, um, also catering opportunities. The convention center is expected to pump an additional $10.6 million into Muskegon's economy every year. I'm excited for them to start working on it because it's a huge project and it's going to take a while. but. I think it's, it'll be worth it. The $17 million, 45,000 square foot convention center is part of an overall $26 million public-private investment. It'll cross 4th Street, linking L.C. Walker with the remodeled and rebranded Delta by Marriott Hotel. It's been a long time coming. There was talk of a new convention center in the late 1980s, but a 2002 feasibility study indicated there just wasn't enough convention business to support a plan. That study was revisited in 2014, and the numbers had changed in favor of the idea. The changes are already happening. Western Avenue is a far different street than it was just a few years ago, with new restaurants, bars, and other businesses filling up storefronts. I actually live above the restaurant, so it's, there's always people out, and um, the parties in the park, and. The, and then like bike time and all the other events that happen down here. And the new Muskegon Convention Center is set for completion in early 2021. In Muskegon, Joe Lafergie, News 8.